I'm Mr. Casto from Milton Middle School, and you're watching West Virginia History in two minutes or less. Today is part two of our first industry series, and this one's going to look at the timber industry and natural gas and oil industries of our state. Let's check it out. Since back in the frontier days of the 1700s and early 1800s, the timber industry has been in existence. After the Civil War, more railroads were built around the state and the timber industry boomed. Trees were cut down with no concern for conservation. From 1863 to 1893, the amount of railroad lines really opened up West Virginia to settlement and development. Trains were instrumental in carrying these logs out of the rugged terrain. In fact, special trains were even built. The Shea engine brought logs down to places like Cass where they were milled. Today, the largest collection of these engines can be found at the Cass Scenic Railroad State Park in Pocahontas County. Once steam power saws were used, production increased so much that West Virginia was the third largest hardwood producing state between 1870 to 1920. The timber boom resulted in an estimated 10 million acres of old growth forest to be completely gone by 1920. Thanks to conservation in the early 20th century, there are more trees today than there were in 1900, and there are two places in the state that even escaped tempering altogether, Godnear Knob and Cathedral State Park. Because of a land dispute caused by an error in using a compass, a narrow seven mile strip was never timbered at Godnear Knob. In the 1700s, both George Washington and Thomas Jefferson were amazed at the flame that could be burned at the mouth of a stream near the Little Canal River, appropriately named Burning Springs. Later in 1859, some happy accidents is what Bob Ross would call it, when the Rathbone brothers of Parkersburg were drilling for salt in Burning Springs in Work County and found oil instead. By 1861, a town sprung up and natural gas was used to light it. 10,000 people moved there. During the Civil War, the Jones and Bowden raid tried to stop production, but they produced 1,400 barrels a day. Today, there's a museum in Parkersburg marking its history. For more information, you can go to WestVirginiaStateParks.com or WVTourism.com. Thanks for watching.